In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to max out your social security check by simply doing this. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Now, first off, does it sound appealing to max out your social security check? Uh, yeah, obviously it does, right? We want to maximize our monthly income, maximize our annual income, and of course, maximize our lifetime income from social security checks. Now, in this video, I do want to break down the details of how you can actually do that, but it does take some planning and it does take a little bit of foresight. However, I want to break it down for you and your personal situation. Now, I want to make sure that this is not mistaken with getting the maximum benefit from social security. There's a big, big difference. In fact, right now, the maximum benefit as I film this video from Social Security is a little over $4,800. To be totally fair, that is only achieved by a very, very, very small percentage of beneficiaries. Virtually nobody gets that maximum benefit. I mean, a couple people do. It's very, very small percentage of people. But again, I want to help you maximize your monthly benefit for your situation as well. And again, that's what I want to talk about here in this video. So with that being said, let's jump into it and talk through all the details. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video? It's totally free to do so. I'm here for you right by your side every single day, advocating on your behalf, answering your questions, doing the research, and anything I possibly can to help you right now. I want to help you get as much money as you can, again, out of Social Security and maximize these different programs out there for the low income and fixed income. There's a bunch of them that are out there. So again, thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so, and feel free to share this video with the share button right down below as well with your friends in social media. Thank you. Really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and let's talk through the details. All right. So a couple things we need to recognize as well. First off, we need to know, okay, well, what would really dictate the uh, maxing out of social security checks? Well, first off, we need to know the rules of social security, right? So again, if you want to play the game, know the rules and then just maximize the rules, right? I mean, here's the thing, just like with everything, play the game by the rules. And if you know what the rules are, you can actually win the game, right? Same thing with social security. Okay. Now, by the way, I want to point this out really fast here. This is pertaining to social security retirement benefits. Okay. Well, to an extent, it also does pertain to SSDI, social security disability, but the calculations and the formulas are a little bit different, but it also does, I guess, pertain a little bit to SSDI benefits as well. Okay. But um, that's what I want to talk about. All right, so first off, we need to understand how does Social Security arrive at your monthly benefit amount, okay? Here's what it comes down to. By the way, there's a ton of factors. There's a lot, a lot of different factors here. But let me point out some of the key ones. Number one, we need to figure out when your full retirement age is, okay? Right now, it's between the ages of 66 and 67. Anyone born in 1960 or later, it's um, uh, the age of 67, okay? But remember, there's also reductions that go into effect if you take your benefit before your full retirement age. I've talked about that many times before in other videos, but you got to take all that into consideration, okay? But next, the big key factor that we can also uh, influence going forward is 35 years of work history, okay? Remember, Social Security takes your 35 highest years of income and they run it through something called AIME, Average Indexed Monthly Earnings. Let me explain really quickly, okay? So what they do is they look back and they look at your 35 highest years of income. They inflate all that to current inflation, right? So it's all indexed to inflation. They average it out on a monthly basis to determine what was your income on a monthly basis, average it out to, um, over that 35 years, okay? I know it's a little bit confusing, like what? That sounds kind of weird, right? But yes, this is what they do, okay? And then they have this formula to determine what your benefit amount will be based on this information, okay? But remember, 35 highest years. Let's just say that you have 25 years of income and you have 10 years that are filled in with zeros, right? Because again, maybe you don't have 35 years of work history. That's fine. Not a ton of people do, in fact. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't have all 35 years that, ha that have income within them. That's okay, right? That's okay. However, zeros. Remember, when we're working with numbers here, when we're working with averages, any zero entered into an average reduces that average substantially, right? 
So that's kind of what I want to talk about here is, you know, we want to reduce those zeros, okay? So remember, you don't need to be a mathematician to understand this, but again, if we're taking any numbers and we're averaging them out, um, any zeros or low numbers, again, zeros in particular, really, really, really lower averages, okay? So anyway, when we're looking at this whole situation here, okay, we've got 35 years of highest income. And again, maybe you have 25 years, maybe you have 30, maybe you have 40 years. If you have 40 years of income to track and what they're actually looking back on, they're going to take your 35 highest years, okay? So they're going to reduce the five years that have lower incomes, and they're not going to count those. They're going to only count the 35 highest years. Again, that's great, right? But here's one thing I want to point out really quickly, and why I said at the beginning of this video, um, it's going to take some planning, and it's going to take some foresight. But any years, oh, by the way, you can log on to your My Social Security account uh, on the Social Security website and you can see all this information, okay? Um, but anyway, any years that you may have a pending zero, as in zero income for those years, if you have less than 35 years of, you know, trackable income here that Social Security is going to look back on, if you can fill those zeros in, with anything, literally any type of income. I mean, obviously a dollar, $10, $100, $1,000, it's not gonna help the equation all that much. But even if you worked a little bit and had some income during those years so that we could uh, you know, minus off the zeros and fill them in with even something as small as five, ten, you know, seven thousand, fifteen thousand, smaller amounts like this. It doesn't need to mean. It doesn't mean you need to go out and make a hundred grand these years. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, the lower income, uh, the lower the income, it's actually a tiered program is how they actually factor this. So the first, you know, sets of uh, income that come in are actually more influential than the higher income. Okay. So for example, I'm just gonna throw some random numbers out here. The first $20,000 of income is way more influ influential when it comes down to these equations than the last, say, $70,000. Does that kind of make sense? So let's just say that somebody earns $100,000. Um, you don't need to, I'm just simply saying, let's just use this for an example, okay? The first 20 grand of that is way more influential than the second 80%. Does that kind of make sense? Otherwise, so my point is, you don't really need to make a ton of money because the, the lower dollar amounts, the first money that is earned is way more influential when it comes down to these equations for Social Security and maxing out these checks. So my point is, couple things here. If you have less than 35 years of income that Social Security will look back on to determine what your benefit amount will be when they run this calculation, the AIME, again, average indexed monthly earnings, uh, you want to make sure that we can possibly erase those zeros and fill them in with something. Even if it's 5,000, 7,000, 10,000, 15,000 dollars of income, for a year, again, that's, you know, on a monthly basis, that's what, $1,000 a month, uh, 800, you know, $800, 1000 maybe, you know, $1,200 a month, something like that. It's, you can work part time and earn that kind of income. But again, it's going to help your monthly benefits substantially when they come down to using this equation here, the AIME that I've been talking about here in this video, okay? Does that kind of make sense, right? So anyway, that's kind of what I want to point it out. And again, yes, I completely recognize that this does, does take some planning. It takes some foresight. You got to look at this stuff and it may take years to erase those zeros. But every zero that you erase from this calculation here, you're actually effectively raising your benefit pretty nicely here, okay? So yes, this may take years to do, but again, every single zero that you can wipe off and that you can replace with a, a number, even if it's $7,000, $10,000, something like that, that's gonna help your equation substantially. Does that kind of make sense there, right? So anyway, I hope this helps, but again, I wanna break this down really quickly because we always wanna know, hey, what can I do to maximize my check? Well, this is one very simple thing that people can do. Now, if you're currently a beneficiary, well, there's probably not a whole lot you can do about this, okay? I just wanna be uh, totally real about this. But another thing as well, SSDI, remember, SSDI beneficiaries, the parameters of claiming SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits, not to be mistaken with SSI, are a little bit different. Generally, to receive a retirement benefits, you need to have 10 credits, right? Uh, you get one credit per quarter. It's based on income, things like this. So basically you need to work for at least 10 years to get social security benefits, okay? Retirement benefits. When it comes down to SSDI, that's not always required uh, when it comes to receiving SSDI as a younger person. You don't always need those 40 credits, right? Again, I can talk about this in a separate video, but my point is even having that income and receiving SSDI will help boost your SSDI benefit as well. Does that make sense? Right? So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now, but I think you kind of get the point here that I'm making, right? Income helps when it comes down to boosting Social Security benefits and maximizing as much as you can for your situation. And again, not to be mistaken with getting the maximum from Social Security. 
only a very small percentage of people do that, okay? It's a very small percentage, like don't even worry about it. Uh, you have to earn a very high income and basically max them out your social security uh, contributions as far as ta ta taxes through the payroll tax, basically all of the years for the 35 years. It's difficult to do. Very few people do that. Make sense? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I hope this helps you again. As always, please leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. If you want to come back and elaborate on this further, I can certainly do that for you. Otherwise, again, please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Always has been, always will be. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including the ones down below in the video library or in the description or the uh, top of the comment section of this video. I've hand selected some videos there for you as well. Otherwise, they're right now popping up on your screen. You'll see some videos there as well. Check out those videos. Thank you so much for watching. Truly do appreciate it. Share the video and I'll catch you again later in that next video that you're selecting right now on your screen. Thank you so much and I'll catch you.